So Apple has announced the new iPhone 10, which in my opinion looks absolutely awesome. I'm super excited for the new iPhone. I think it's going to be an awesome device. There's loads and loads of new features that I think are pretty incredible. One of the new features is some new swipe gestures obviously needed on the device because it does not have a home button. So one of the cool things about being jailbroken is you can actually get those features right now on your device and it's absolutely crazy in my opinion. Uh, so for before we get into you know how to get this tweak or how to use this tweak I do want to mention that it is called Tage. The original tweak is called Zephyr which I had on my device about five years ago. So Zephyr is the OG and then Tage is basically the updated version of it that supports newer uh, iOS versions. This is definitely an awesome tweak. Like I said, it's going to mimic the uh, gesture functionality. It's pretty much identical to how Apple demoed it <laughs> uh, for the iPhone 10. Some things are slightly different, but it's pretty much the same thing at the core, which is pretty crazy. And in my opinion, Tage actually has more functionality than uh, what Apple is offering, at least you know, from what I seen yesterday at the event. So this is pretty crazy. So to start this off, let's quickly go into Cydia. <clears throat> I do want to show you guys the tweaks in Cydia first. So first is Zephyr. Like I said, this is the OG right here. This has been around uh, since I think iOS 5, maybe earlier than that. Um, it's been around for about five years. I had it on my iPhone 4 and I believe I had it on my iPhone 5 for a while as well. Uh, but as you guys can see, development for Zephyr stopped with iOS 6.1, uh, and that's where Tage comes into play. Tage is basically the same tweak. Uh, it's updated for iOS 7, 8, 9, and 10, uh, supports iPhone, iPod, and also the iPad. And as you guys can see, it is a premium tweak in Stadia. It's $1.99, but in my, in my opinion, $1.99 is definitely worth this tweak. It's seriously awesome. So quickly, obviously, you can close an app just by swiping up just like shown by Apple for the iPhone 10. Pretty crazy. Uh, so that's basically the main thing about it is just being able to close out of an app just by swiping up is, is super convenient. You don't actually have to touch your, your home button to exit an app or even open up multitasking. It's super convenient. So just like uh, on the iPhone 10 to open up multitasking, we can swipe up and just simply hold. And as you guys can see there, it opens up multitasking where we can easily switch between applications so uh, open multitasking close the app I'm sure you guys are wondering well how do you open control center uh, well it's basically kind of the same thing thanks for the comment uh, and on the iPhone 10 you can just swipe from the upper right hand corner and that will open up your control center I have my uh, Tage configured to swipe up on the lower right hand corner which in my opinion is even easier than how Apple demoed it it's easier to get to the bottom of the screen to swipe and it's harder to get to the top in my opinion so that's even easier also if you guys want to open multitasking you know instantly up from let's say your home page if you swipe up from the lower left hand corner that's what opens up your multitasking and as you guys can see it's it's super smooth it just it works very nicely close out the app you know open up multitasking it, it all works super smooth within apps if you want to open up control center boom that's basically the tweak in action so let's quickly go into the settings for Tage and I'll show you guys what you can do with it there's a lot of settings to configure so if this is something you guys are interested in I'd recommend to just get the tweak and go through the settings and play around with it to get it set up to work the best for you uh, so first at the top here close app or activate switcher enabled screen area you can choose left center or right I have mine set to center you have your sensitivity there's a bunch of different sensitivities to choose from you can have a system close animation which I personally don't like so I have it turned off you have long swipe actions uh, system switcher animation your switcher delay the next section is switch apps you can have that enabled you can also choose how many fingers you want to use uh, definitely really cool so also you know demoed with the iPhone 10 is the ability to swipe on the bottom of the screen to go back and forth between your multitasking uh, applications very cool this does that as well so if we just swipe from edge to edge boom we can switch between our multitasking apps like I said you can change the number of fingers required to do that so if uh, 
you know, certain apps are screwing you up from the swiping. You could use two fingers instead of one, which might make it work a little bit better. Uh, you have your sensitivity, your screen area. Also, if your keyboard is open, it will disable the tweak. You have your quick switcher, which I have enabled to the left-hand corner to quickly open up the switcher. Uh, you can shift up selected app. You can turn that on scrolling speed. Uh, you can have a quit app delay. You can also set it up so you can lock your device. Uh, it, you have disabled options here. Keyboard disables. Disables uh, in certain applications. So if you guys... Uh, you know, have some games on your device, you can disable, you know, within a game. That's what I would recommend. That way you're not switching between multitask multitasking applications while you're trying to play a game. Uh, you also have kill background. You can kill now playing app. And then you can also whitelist applications from being uh, killed from multitasking, which is really cool. So like I said, guys, a ton of settings to configure within Tage. Like I said, you can really make the tweak function the way you want it to. By adjusting all these different settings definitely a really really cool tweak to have on your device it allows you like I said to navigate around your device without ever touching the home button and in my opinion it actually works better than the home button and it's almost identical to the new iPhone 10 a seriously awesome tweak uh, and like I said guys you must be jailbroken in order to do this as you guys can see this is my iPhone 7 plus jailbroken with extra recipe on 10.1.1 so a jailbreak is required to get this but in my opinion it is awesome having these features uh, before Apple even releases it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later